Madam Chair and Commissioners, my name is Maria McCoy, and I'm here on behalf of the Institute for Local Self-Reliance to express our opposition to the acquisition of the Mankato Energy Center by Excel Energy. <clears throat> the focus of our opposition is the unequal balance of risks and benefits between Excel Energy's shareholders and its customers. As noted in our comments, this imbalance happens in several ways. First, the purchase would mean near-term rewards for shareholders against long-term risk for customers. According to the company's filed comments, the economic benefits do not turn positive for customers for at least 20 years, and then only if their assumptions about the value of the plant's capacity and gas prices are accurate. Shareholders start getting paid immediately. Second, the risk to customers of expanding Excel's commitment to any gas plant are rising. A report published by the Rocky Mountain Institute last week entitled The Growing Market for Clean Energy Portfolios suggests that 80% of proposed combined cycle gas plants in the United States face a stranded cost risk by 2035, at least five years prior to the time when the Mankato Energy Center is expected to become value positive for Excel customers. Third, the risk mitigation me measures proposed by Excel are weak. One measure relies on a presumption of high capacity prices in the market. While this is possible, there's also a strong possibility that the reverse is true due to falling costs for battery storage and deployment of advanced demand response programs. A second proposal effectively punts risk mitigation onto future commissions and commissioners, asking customers to hope that regulators appointed in 2025 will be more willing to hold the utility accountable for its risk calculations. In both cases, the risk remains on customers. Finally, Excel acknowledges that the climate risk will also be borne by customers. The plant can be retired early, in 2040, to meet urgent greenhouse gas emissions reduction targets, but only at the sacrifice of any financial benefits to customers. There remain two further reasons to reject this purchase beyond the imbalance of risk and reward. One is the purchase price. In its defense of the proposed acquisition, Excel suggests the fact that our modeling shows customer benefits associated with ownership under a wide variety of resource planning scenarios demonstrates that the company is paying a reasonable price for the plant. This statement conflates the purpose of net present value calculations, which indicate whether a project has financial benefits exceeding costs over the time frame analyzed, with comparison chopping. For example, in desiring to buy a Tesla, I might provide a 20-year net present value analysis showing that the financial benefits of ownership, such as reduced fuel costs and maintenance, will exceed the cost of financing the car. It does not, however, suggest that the purchase price is reasonable compared to a Toyota Prius, for example. There's also the final issue of appropriate time and place for utility resource planning. Investor-owned utilities file integrated resource plans to allow the commission and the public to evaluate the best mix of resources to meet system needs for, next, for the next 15 years. Excel Energy's plan is currently under consideration before the Commission. In November, at the hearing where the Commission approved the filing extension for Excel's resource plan, one commissioner said to utility representatives, get it right, don't come back before us over and over again, don't run to other jurisdictions, deal with it in the regulatory compact, do it right. Does do it right mean filing a resource acquisition proposal outside of the planning process? Allowing consideration of this purchase in relative isolation harms the ability of the commission and stakeholders to evaluate its merits relative to alternatives. In particular, and as ILSR will share in its forthcoming comments, the utility's resource plan forecast for distributed energy resources falls far below historical expectations or independent forecast models. Considering this purchase outside of the resource plan diminishes the usefulness of the resource plan in considering, in their entirety, the resources the Minnesota grid served by Excel Energy is likely to require. By approving this purchase outside of the planning process, the Commission risks setting a dangerous precedent that the utility planning is both optional and secondary to capital expenditures that boost the bottom line, regardless of their relative value to customers. The Institute for Local Self-Reliance asks that the Commission reject the request to purchase the Mankato Energy Center. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um,